compression plate inside and outside the ring. You, you, you used to do a little so. modeling, didn't you, at one time? Who, me? Yes. I thought you did. Oh, well. No, no, no. no. All right. No, no, no. In the turnbuckle, there goes the knee to the midsection of Jumpin' Joe Savoldi. And right now it is, oh, look at that. He stops him and turnabout is fair play and into the turnbuckle goes Rick Marta. And a left hand by Jumpin' Joe up in the air. <laughs> and Martel, look, I tell you, this guy, you know, he's smart. He anticipates the moves. Savoldi is a great wrestler, but he does not have the experience under his belt. He doesn't have those notches on his belt like Rick Martel. He's paid his dues. Savoldi has quite a future ahead of him. But, no question. You know, he hasn't faced the caliber of opposition to this point like Rick Martel. He's been in with everybody. And there goes an elbow to the small of the back of jumping Joe Savoldi. And Rick Martell talking to his, should I say, fan? Oh. Well, this young lady uh, seems to get on camera every once in a while, and uh, apparently we, I, I kind of got the feeling she kind of likes uh, Rick Martell. I don't know. We're going to have to do some investigative reporting on her. But uh, she you know, did present their, their rose to him, and maybe uh, he's uh, winning this one for her, or at least going to try to anyway. Like I said, I want to know how come uh, there wasn't a rose for, for Mike and Phil, you know what I mean? Well, you have to ask her about that. I'll have to make And a back body drop by Jumpin' Joe kicking out at the count of two. Here's Rick Martell with a stop coming back to Joe Savoldi. Oh, look at this. Abdominal stretch here by Rick Martell. And this guy certainly is something... Well, she does look rather pleased, whoever she is. Well, right she's now, very happy me. now. She's, she's got a big <laughs> smile on her face there. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to find out. A little leverage there. Uh, <laughs> look at he's... this. Martell is grabbing the top rope while the referee is down. This guy knows every trick in the book. Yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah, sure and does. some that aren't even in the book that he wrote. Yeah, I'm sure he has. You talk about arrogance. Well, uh, I would say he's one of the inventors of arrogance. He's looking mighty proud of himself now. You know, actually, in a long career of hundreds of matches, he's probably only lost maybe three or four matches. Martel's got an excellent record, one of the best in professional wrestling. And, uh, oh! Well, this time he got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Doing what I think he should have done. Exactly. Kicked that hand off the rope. Hey, you're going to cheat? Then uh, you get what you, you got coming to uh, you. I know. Guess it, like I said. And Whoa. look at that suplex by Rick Martel. Only two. And that was that was close. Yes. That was close. It was very, very close. And now Martel setting Savoldi into the ropes. And oh look at that. Interesting move and a lot of uh, force behind that move, that's for sure. As he put a lot of pressure on the back. And Savoldi, I'll tell you, win or lose doesn't matter, it won't hurt him because he's gaining valuable experience that later on will uh, serve him in good stead. Well, right now, his back has got to be hurting a lot. He's uh, taking a tremendous amount of punishment. Rick Martell is enjoying it. You know, the only way you learn, oh, look at that. He moves out of the way, and Martell goes flying into the uh, solid ring post, that metal ring post, as I started to say, the only way that you learn is by wrestling the top the top wrestlers. That's the only way that you do learn. That's right. Getting, a, and he's getting an education today. He made a few good moves up there, but this is far from over. Now, right now, I think he's going for a PhD in there with Rick Martell because Martell is... Oh, oh look at a small package by Savoldi. Almost had him. Talk about uh, coming up with a big move. That would have been a, a tremendous win for Jumpin' Joe Savoldi if he could have... Uh, oh, oh, there goes that knee to the small of the back. That back is taking a lot of punishment. Martell looking very happy right now, very proud of himself. And so is that young lady uh, at ringside. There she is, yes. caught on our uh, monitor here. She's uh, quite happy. And now Rick Martell going up on the top rope here. As we promise you, the great legends, the superstars of the sport each and every week right here. And look at Savoldi putting a little vibrating oh, action. Oh, 
That's gonna smart. Oh my, is uh, whatever that young lady not looking very happy at the moment. No. Oh. And Savoldi now. And there's a left by Savoldi. Savoldi throws him into the turnbuckle. Hip cross by Jumpin' Joe Savoldi up into the air. Flag drop kick by Savoldi. Another flag drop kick by Jumpin' Joe Savoldi. What a turnaround in this match. And it's a left hand by Savoldi. Into the ropes goes Martell and a clothesline by Jumpin' Joe Savoldi. And uh, going for the cover. One, two. Oh, oh my. my. My, that was close. That was very, very close. That was like two or three quarters, wasn't it? Well, I'll tell you, so far, Jumpin' Joe Savoldi uh, getting through this classroom experience, and you got to give them top grades. Oh, hey, there's Martel and, and Savoldi. You heard of a pain in the neck? Well, he's a pain in the neck right there as Martel using those ring smarts backs him into the turnbuckle. It looked like he was trying to go for some kind of a sleeper hold or something. I'm not sure what he was trying to do, and it didn't quite work. Right now, they're both taking stock of what they have to do up there on the scored circle. You know, I hope the fans at home are appreciating a great scientific match like this. Again. And now it's a sleeper by Jumpin' Joe Savoldi. We've seen some great wrestling maneuvers in this match. Yeah, this yeah we've seen point. some punches and we've seen some kicks right. and some brutality. But we're seeing some great scientific wrestling on the part of both wrestlers. Oh, my, look at this. The referee apparently is knocked out as both the referee and Jumpin' and Joe Savoldi were slammed into the turnbuckle. And they kind of got caught in the backwash on that one. Savoldi trying to wake up the Mar referee. What is Wilson Martel? Something in his hand is blocked. It's blocked by Savoldi. And they're fighting over that object. What and is that? I, I looks, oh, it's his um, perfume oh. sprayer, or bug sprayer, or whatever. Uh, I don't know what he's right now. Savoldi has it. The referee is finally coming to. And the referee. And Savoldi. Uh oh. Well, and there. Oh. Uh, 